Newsmax, ultra conservative media outlet, they thought Ben Shapiro was a black conservative. And they also decided to put up a picture, a panel that included Herman Cain, a black conservative who's been dead since 2020. Here it is. Meet a black conservative. They're out there, but they're shunned because boy, oh boy. What they have to say, and the late Herman Cain, and of course Ben Shapiro, not black, but one of the one of the heroes of uh, of the movement. This really disrupts the narrative, and that's why they are marginalized, and they shouldn't be. They should be celebrated and listened to. I put up that put up that damn screenshot, man. Put it up, man. Newsmax showed a picture in a story about black conservatives exist. They showed a panel of Ben Shapiro and a man who has been dead since 2020. (laughs) The irony cannot be more pronounced here, okay? They were literally doing a story about how Finding black conservatives is not a hard thing to do. They are out there and they are strong and we could not find four of them on our show. <laughs> All right, um, finding black conservatives is not that hard. They are current and former legislators in uh, Tim Scott, Alan West, Byron Donalds, Mia Love. Uh, let's put them up. Yeah, All of them are actually black conservatives. I mean, damn, we at Indisputable, we found for actual living non-zombie black conservatives. Newsmax could not. Not outraged enough? Well, how about black conservatives that will say anything like Candace Owens, Herschel Walker, or Diamond and Silk? I mean, you could have you could have used that slate, Newsmax. Uh, we got them for days here. All right. Yasmin. You know, the host tried to clean it up in the middle of him realizing, well, all damn. Uh, mm-hmm. Two out of four, not bad though. Ben Shapiro, the ally for the black conservative movement, <laughs> right. you know, the, the quintessential ally. But I, it is funny. I mean, yeah, like Diamond and Silk, weren't they? There, a lot of them are contributors on Fox News. Just go yeah. grab some of them. Like they're perfect examples. They exist. They're out there. Maybe they're not as vocal. Maybe they're not as well liked by their own communities as you know Newsmax would like. Well, I guess that was the point of their story, right? Is that they're they're kind of pariahs within their own community. I don't know what the overall point of the story was though, because right now, especially a lot of minority populations, including the black population in the United States, they're kind of the Democrats need to work a little harder to get them on board, right? Yeah. And so the presence of black conservatives. On the conservative side, they probably should be kind of catering to them a little bit better because the Democrats are not doing so as well as they could be or Agreed. should be, right? That's right. Yeah, so this is just, it's, it's a missed opportunity. It's a weird angle to take in the story and um, both sides need to be, do better to address minority populations, not just the Democrats, Republicans Agreed. also should. Agreed 100% and I say this yeah. all the time. Because conservatives really don't give a damn about addressing black issues, here's what happens, black folk, And I can talk like this because I'm black. Black folk, we're in this position where we're advocating for uh, Democrats to do the right thing by way of policy as it relates to black communities across America. And then black conservatives, they do nothing as far as policy is concerned to move the needle in the conservative movement. And this story from Newsmax shows the care or the lack thereof. They put behind even doing a segment or a story about black conservatives, which at the end of the day means black folks typically, we are voting for a Democrat who may be 50% with us because the Republican is zero, right? That's not a win for us. 